Well, hello everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome to my YouTube channel where today we're gonna to do some vintage watercolor flowers. And I'm really excited. It took me a long time and a lot of tries to figure this out, but I'm gonna use some stamps from W Plus Nines from the new release. And this Fabriano 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. I took it off the block and chopped it into quarters so that I could have one that's slightly larger than card front size and then I can trim off the edges. So I took some antique linen because I wanted to create a sort of a background thing that'll start me on that washy look and sprayed it with some water in a mini mister. And one of the reasons I want this to really look like watercolor is because Dawn is amazing at this washy watercolor stuff. And these stamps from this set that I'm going to show you today were designed from one of her paintings. So I want it to look like watercolor, right? There are stamps that you can use with regular inks but I want to use them and watercolor with them, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So this background is going to just be my starter to give me that kind of washy background look. And I'm going to use some real vintage looking colors, which is very unlike me, but I think it really came out cool. I've already seen the end of this video, so no spoiler except to tell you it's awesome. And I, I have taped this down now. It's dry. I let it completely, completely dry. And here is the stamp set that I'm gonna use and I love it. I just think it's beautiful. It's got all these different flowers and they're segmented off on the little sheet here. And you can tell which one goes with which one because you can see some distinct petals. And those are pieces that build those flowers. So if you haven't seen the videos on this, that's how they work, how they function. And so what I have done is taken a couple of these stamps and I'm gonna use them in different ways here. So I'm gonna start with stamping the antique linen ink the same color that I did for the background don't mind my my stamp that's stained I was playing around with a lot of different things with these to try to see what worked and I'm stamping with antique linen I know it's like this greenish brown color but trust me it will work <laughs> it'll look great at the end and I'm stamping it twice I'm gonna also add some more flowers because I want a whole spray down the center of the card and I'm going to start by watercoloring the leaves. I'm just going to add some plain water. This is a brush by the Silver Brush Company. And I believe that is a number four that I have in my hot little hand. And that I am just adding water to these. And with distressed inks, they kind of melt away beautifully when you hit them with water. Especially the markers don't do it as much as the inks out of the pads. And that's one of the reasons I'm using the pads well, aside from the fact that I don't have all the distress markers, I just have all the distress ink pads. But I do find that they tend to blend better than my markers that I do have. So that's just an FYI for you. So I'm doing just the leaves. I'm not worried about the flowers yet because I want to get the leaves kind of set. And now I'm going to start the flowers. Each of the flower groups I put on a block because that will help me to put them back in the right place. They're meant to go together. So if I were to use them on all these flowers together then they would be as they're supposed to but you can intermix different parts I've seen people doing all different kinds of stuff with different ones so here I've stamped with um, I believe this is one of the vintage purpley colors I'm gonna have to find out I'll put all the links to the inks that I used in the description down below on YouTube and on my blog because looking at this while I'm doing my voiceover I do not remember the name of that color but I am going to um, watercolor just a little bit of color over top of these. Some of them didn't stamp exactly on that antique linen underneath of them. But you can move that color around with a brush. I'm also fading the colors out so that the flowers kind of melt out of that background. And now I'm going to add some more flowers in both of the two different flower shapes. So I get that kind of a, a feeling of that whole spray down the whole card and add more water to those. And again, you can see I'm just kind of loosening the edges uh, randomly, just picking a side that's gonna disappear and sort of just become part of that swooshy wash. You can stamp these, as I said, with other inks and just stamp them in layers on top of each other and they make beautiful, beautiful flowers even if you don't watercolor them. You don't have to add any water to do it. But you know me, I had to try it because that's how I roll, right? So I'm taking more of that antique linen and I'm stamping more leaves because I want this more filled in. I want to have more 
more stuff in here to support all these flowers. I know I'm going to put my sentiment across the middle. When I did this, I had my design in, in my head. It's just what came out um, partially from doing my research online and some of the things that I saw. And I went, you know, I want to do something like that with this twist to it and then those colors. So I kind of took a couple different things and put them together. So I'm using different leaf shapes because there's lots and lots of leaf shapes and some of them are background pieces and then some are layers that layer on top of each other. And here is where I was a little afraid I, I made a big mistake because I used some of this vintage photo. It's a brown color for one of the layers on one of the flowers and I was like, oh, do I lighten it? Do I what? And then I went, you know, I'm just gonna go for it because I already started down that road and I fell in love with it. I just loved the pop of contrast. Originally I was thinking I was going to do it all really super soft colors and when I hit this I went, oh, that's me. Because, you know, trying to do super soft colors is like me trying to be somebody like Dawn or, or even like, I, I mean, I can totally admire the work of my friend Debbie Hughes. Like, I wish I could do soft colors the way she does, but I need contrast. That's just my signature thing. So I went with it. And then I just started painting in more of the, the washy look. And I was trying really hard to make sure they're not consistently the same flower. So you don't get that visual impression that it's one flower repeated a bunch of times. So when you're watercoloring it like this, you can differentiate them and blur out different parts of them depending on which one it is. I also turned them all different directions to try to eliminate some of that and, and keep that looking just, just looking like all of the flowers are, are different. And then I decided since I had that much contrast, I better put some contrast in my little leaves as well. So I took out some peeled paint and added some darker greens to those. And then I just became like a super happy person, you know, because I had contrast. So if you're a person who loves the super soft pastels, rock on with that. And I so admire the work of all of you who can pull that off. I am just not that kind of person. It's crazy. I don't know what it is about me. I have the best intentions in mind and I just can't seem to get there. But I am learning to love what I do the way I do it and to heck with anybody else who can do everything else. It is what it is. All right. I got out this texture paste. I've had this for a bit and I haven't really played with it. So I got it out for this card because I thought a really nice shiny gold texture paste would be amazing with this. Because all that old vintage stuff, they used to do a lot of gold gilded, this, that, and the other. So I'm gonna use this paste. It's got a funky texture compared to what I'm used to for texture paste, but it still works the same. It's just a little creamier and softer. And I just wanted to edge it a little bit. Like those, old, remember those old greeting cards that had just a little bit of line of, of gold? I'm only gonna do two sides instead of four sides on it because this panel is cut to four inches, but it's five and a half tall. So it's gonna go all the way up the whole vertical length. And then I took the palette knife and I just started dabbing a little bit of gold on the insides of each one of those flowers and I wanted to see how that would come out. I thought about using a brush or something, but you know, I was gonna wreck a brush with this, so I decided not to. And just for fun, I wanted to see what this texture paste looks like en masse. So I took a stencil, a hex stencil. Imagine that, me and hexagons, and I just put some uh, texture paste on it, and this is what happened after it dried. Look how shiny that is, oh my goodness. And here it is shining on my card. I love this texture paste. You're going to be seeing a little bit of that in the future, I think. So here is my finished card. So, so gorgeous. So excited. I'm going to link you to some other videos here at the end so you can go watch more stuff if you have more insomnia that you need to cure. And I guess that's about it. Click on the upper right hand corner and you'll get to my blog and see lots more information and the actual colors of the inks that I used in this video. Thank you much, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.